Good morning everybody, this is Zoltan from New Generation Hobbies and it is a beautiful Monday morning on September the 17th. I can't believe that this summer is gone already. September the 17th. So what uh, I did yesterday is that I had my little TBRC wing here and I've been flying for a long time. This was thanks to Anthony Biker who actually sent me the wing so I can build it myself and I can demo it and fly it around. But anyway, I changed the motor on it. I put a 2700 KV 2306 on it. And this thing just screams on for sale. And it screams so bad that I couldn't measure the speed on it. And I was looking at it that, okay, well, it runs fast. And uh, there was, I was at one point that I said, okay, I got to measure what's the speed on this thing. So at the end, what I ended up doing is that uh, I took it apart yesterday. I replaced the servos. I had some high-tech AGS 55 servos on it. And believe it or not, they had a play. So whenever I moved it like this, it actually moved from the gear, I guess. And they had about a one millimeter uh, uh, drop on my uh, what is that on my ailerons and that is really not a good thing because uh, as, as you fly fast with this one the aileron is flapping like that and it's making the whole thing wiggle and move around right so at this point I said yesterday okay I'm gonna replace that and I'm going to put in an airspeed sensor and luckily Frysky has an ASS 70 or an ASS 100 uh, airspeed sensor which you can connect with S port to any FrySky receivers. In my case, I chose an X4R. I replaced the already existing uh, D4R in this one with an X4R which actually can, uh, can do telemetry. And I connected the airspeed sensor and I am sure that I can show you that. It's not a pretty job but it is a working job so what I did is I glued it with uh, hot glue to the fuselage and the whole thing comes out about 10 millimeters, 15 millimeters as recommended in front of uh, uh, the fuselage of the leading edge, right? With that one, it's actually able to measure proper um, airspeed. Also, it has two, two plastic tubes. One is for static pressure. The other one is for dynamic pressure. And this all connects back to my um, receiver. Now, on the Taranis, you already, oh, it was all set up with the latest firmware, so all I have to do is actually go on and discover the sensors, and once I discovered the sensors, then uh, there were two things which I needed to do, and let me see here, if I, yes, I can bring it back. The one thing which I did is that uh, to play volume when the SF switch Zero. is turned on, right? And it will still reading me back the airspeed, ASPD, right? And every three seconds is gonna read the airspeed back to me. Now this, after a while, it can become annoying. So you can turn it on or you can turn it off with this one. So you read it when you really need it. And the second thing which I needed to do is just to go to, uh, after discovering the sensors, to go to the 13th page and on screen one of the telemetry to. Uh, put in the ASPD airspeed and the ASPD plus which was uh, the maximum airspeed reached on that specific flight. So at that point when you finish your flight and you come back and you read this off here it's gonna to give you the, the airspeed which is at the moment and in the middle range it's gonna give you the, uh, the maximum airspeed read on that flight. So with that I went flying yesterday and this little thing reached about 140 kilometers maximum speed, 140, 140 kilometers maximum speed. So that's what uh, I measured it on the first flight and on the second flight, I managed to throw it myself and do a really fast takeoff and into the ground after that. So look at that, it's broken. Now, anyway, I gotta have to use some glue to glue this back and the whole thing is gonna go back in the air in almost like no time. With all that, guys, I hope that uh, if you have a wing or if you have an airplane and you want to read back the airspeed on it, there is a really easy setup for that. Get one of those two sensors 
ASS-70 or ASS-100 I think 100 is the other one, that's a height precision. Uh, on these ones you don't need a higher precision. The higher precision can go up to about 370, 370 kilometers per hour, while this one can read only about 270. I think 270 is plenty enough. Anyway, with all that, thanks you guys for watching and have a great week and I hope to see you at New Generation Hobbies. Bye.